Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Monday Discipleship uh, class. Tonight we're going to be discussing initiative and courage. And uh, we're glad you tuned in tonight. We look, look forward to this time together. And uh, I believe my wife, Apostle Linda, has some announcements for us. Amen. Well, welcome tonight. All right. This is our, as Apostle Jeff said, it's our dis discipleship class. We're glad that you're joining us tonight. And uh, tonight our topic is going to be on initiative and courage. Uh, but before we get started, uh, we're just going to say a quick prayer. Father, we just come before you right now in Jesus' name, Lord. I just ask, Father, your blessing upon the word tonight. Father, just stir us up in the prophetic apostolic in Jesus' name. And Father, give us ears to hear what the Spirit is speaking to us tonight. And Father, we give you all the glory and honor and praise right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so just a couple quick announcements. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all those that have, have participated in our 24-7 uh, prayer. We yes. are praying for the nation, praying for the election, um, and, and we would ask you to please continue praying. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the Bible says pray without ceasing. Amen. And uh, so even though we don't have exactly a 24-7 prayer initiative going on right now, we do ask you to pray uh, for our government. Amen. Pray for a yeah. peaceful transition of power. Yeah, Amen. Pray for our new government that's coming in. Right on. Amen. And um, pray that they have wisdom, yeah. uh, how to handle this uh, COVID crisis and all these other things yeah. that are plaguing our nation yeah. at the current time. And, you know, <coughs> we, yeah, the we, president elect's not going to get any warm up time. Yeah, he's going to step into a <coughs> uh, hot pit of problems. So he's going to need our, our prayers. Amen. Yeah. And so we just uh, solicit you right now to just um, dig in and, and keep praying. Amen. Praise God. And ask the Lord to give him wisdom, give our new leadership wisdom. Amen. Um, so they will lead us correctly. Amen. Amen. And, uh, and please keep praying for us too. Uh, we, we still need, need your, your help, uh, with prayer support and financial support, both. Uh, mm -hmm. we're still trying to get our building per permits, uh, to be approved. Mm -hmm. It's been taken in an ordinate amount of time. Uh, and we know that that's in part due to all the teleworking that's going on. Uh, and now we're going to be coming into the holiday season, uh, which, you know, some people will, will be taking time off. So we just ask that you would just continue praying yes. for us. Amen. Praise God. Just pray that the building permits are approved. All the inspections that we pass on. Take authority over an antichrist spirit that operates in Amen. within the local government. Amen. Because uh, because we're a church, I believe they're taking their own sweet time about it. Yeah, we've been working on this now for about eight weeks, which is an inordinate Even amount of time. That. We had to resubmit applications about four times, which is unusual. We had to pay a significant fees more than once. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's, this has been a spiritual battle. So we just appreciate yes, that you would help us uh, prayerfully. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says, you know, when the enemy comes in like a flood, that God will raise up a standard. Amen. And that standard is the blood of Jesus. It's the name of Jesus. It's the word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so we just ask you to take authority over these situations and find these spirits that are blocking us mm -hmm. and just ask the Lord to undertake for us. Amen. Amen. But again, we want to thank you for praying. Um, and if you feel so led to uh, donate, we appreciate it very much. We still have uh, bills to pay, even though we can't operate. We, we have a significant lease. We have to pay electrical. Uh, we still have bills. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we appreciate it very much. If you go to our website, we invite you to check it out at www.covenant-life-church.org. And on the front page is a donate button in the upper right-hand corner. We appreciate it very much. Whatever you can donate tonight, we'd appreciate. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we just bless you for that. Amen. Um, by way of another quick announcement, I want to remind you that our women's conference is coming up this Friday and Saturday. Uh, we have three dynamic apostles that are going to be speaking uh, via Facebook. Amen. All of our stuff now, we're exclusively on Facebook at, at the current time. And uh, we just appreciate it very much if, if you tune in. Amen. And guys, you can tune in on Friday night too. Praise God. Apostle Desiree Fox is going to be speaking this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Amen. She's a dynamic speaker. She's our regional leader uh, for the Mid-Atlantic region, which our church is part of. Amen. She moves in signs, miracles, and wonders. Amen. Her and Apostle Guy her husband and uh, but anyway she's going to be speaking at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time mm -hmm. and then at 9 30 a.m saturday morning uh ladies we are going to continue with our women's conference and apostle mm -hmm. melody hilton is going to be speaking and then in the afternoon we are going to be having um a panel dis discussion uh led by prophetess dr shayla 
and that's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and we're we're going to be talking about starting businesses and and how God leads us to start a business and all those kind of things, some tips mm -hmm. and so on. And then in uh, later on in the afternoon, Apostle Diane Chamberlain is going to be speaking, and uh, and the theme for this women's conference is is going to be the Esther. Uh, we, we are here for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Amen. God has created us for this time. Right. Amen. And so there's special anointings that God is moving upon his people with. Mm -hmm. Amen. So ladies, you don't want to miss that. And that's starting at 9.30 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning. And mm -hmm. so, and we'll finish up around 4 or 5, whatever it is. All of our guest speakers. Time for supper, I hope. There you go. And all of our ladies are going to be ministering. I mean, our, our apostles, our guest speakers are going to be ministering. Amen. So they'll be prophesying and they'll be moving in healing and miracles as the Lord is leading them. So I just want to in invite you to please tune in and be a, be a part of that. Amen. And we want to finally, we want to thank you all for giving testimony. Uh, we have been asking for testimonies and, and for feedback. You know, we've been prophesying uh, in every service now and uh, by God's grace. And we've been uh, praying for the sick. And also moving in the gift of word of knowledge, word of wisdom, uh, with for miracles and healings and various things. And so we ask you, uh, if you've been healed, uh, if you know that you've been healed, or you know that, that a prophetic word was right on or whatever, please chat it in uh, so that we can get the feedback. It's very important. We appreciate that very much. Mm -hmm. It builds all of our faith. Mm -hmm. And we have already had feedback uh, on several of, of the prophetic words that they've been right on. Amen. Uh, some people have tuned in for the first time. We didn't even, we've never met them. And they said that the, the prophetic word was right on. So we praise God for that. We've also had uh, healings. People have uh, re reported in that their back has been healed. Amen. The pains and aches in their bodies have gone. Uh, one lady was having a problem with arthritis in, in her hand. And the pain immediately left. Yeah. And we praise God for that. Amen. We give God all the glory. Amen. But uh, once again, if, if, if that's you, I mean, if you've been healed and you know you've been healed, we, we want to hear the testimony so that we can give glory to the Lord. And we want to share the testimony with everybody so that all of our faith builds. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Okay. With that, uh, we are going to go I would go just ahead. like to take a minute to pray for Bishop Harry Jackson's yes. family and church. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some very sad news today mm -hmm. that Bishop Harry Jackson uh, has passed away from some COVID-related problem. Uh, we're, we're deeply saddened by the, the loss. He was a great man of God. He was closely affiliated with CIA. He was a personal friend of Bishop and Apostle Enos Chamberlain. You might know what Apostle Enos, uh, and uh, I never met, I never met him, uh, but I've watched his ministry, and he was a tremendous um, anointed man of God, so Father, in Jesus' name, yes, we pray God. comfort for Harry Jackson's new wife, mm -hmm. and strengthen her through this tragic time, and Lord, we pray for her and his daughters. Mm -hmm the rest of the family and for his congregation and his leaders father that you would comfort encourage strengthen yes, and uphold mm -hmm. the work that Harry Jackson did and yes. that it would continue on and Lord uh, we thank you for his life the gift of his life yes Lord Thank and we you. thank you that he's he's not having a problem. He's in heaven. So we amen. thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, um, uh, Hope Christian Church uh, has put out um, public in information mm -hmm. uh, regarding his passing. So you can check uh, on their website. That's Hope Christian Church. So mm -hmm. uh, it's very sad news today. Mm -hmm. um, good for him and that he's walking on streets of gold. Mm -hmm. Sad for all the rest of us. But we... Uh, we just believe that, you know, all things work together for good for those who love the Lord, and we're just believing that. Amen. Now uh, we just want to release comfort and peace mm -hmm. upon his family. Amen. Praise God. So yes. uh, we're going to talk about leadership tonight. Amen. Part of our leadership course uh, is on initiative and courage. And uh, this topic was prompted in our spirit because as leaders, sometimes it is important that you have the initiative, that you take the initiative to, to do things. 
if the leader doesn't take the initiative, uh, certainly many followers are not going to because they're going to watch you as the leader. Amen. And with that comes courage. Uh, sometimes we need courage. Amen. To do what God has called us, you know, you know, to do. Amen. And so, uh, and we're talking to everyone tonight. Amen. Uh, men, you are leaders in, in, in your home. All of us are, are leaders to some extent. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're a believer, you're called as a leader because the word of God says that we are called as kings and priests. Well, that's a leader. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And when you're called to ministry, mm -hmm. amen, you are a leader. You're a spiritual leader because you're going to be leading people. People are going to be looking up to you as the, the example. And it doesn't mean you have to be perfect, but we want to try and be as godly as possible. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. And so leaders who possess courage mm -hmm. uh, have a trait that can permeate and transform everything that they do. Okay? If you look at the leaders in the, in the Bible, they needed courage and they exhibited courage all the time. Joshua 1.6 it says, be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land that I swore to their forefathers. Mm -hmm. Right away, God is encouraging us. He encouraged uh, Joshua. Uh, in fact, go ahead and uh, uh, go to Joshua chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Amen. And let's just take a look at, at um, a very outstanding chapter of courage here of how the Lord himself was exhorting Joshua to have courage. This is applicable to you and I. Mm -hmm. It says in uh, Joshua chapter 1, uh, verse 1, After the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses, uh, his assistant, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. You know, something, uh, honey, that always uh, really um, kind of struck me as odd as how the Lord was always so direct with Joshua <laughs> and told him right off the bat, my yeah. servant is dead. Yeah. Okay, I mean, he didn't mince any words, you know? No, he didn't. I mean, he just laid it on him, mm -hmm. you know? And, you know, we've known the Lord to be gentle, and, you know, mm -hmm. he's been gentle in our lives, you know? Right. He's been, he's been, <laughs> amen. Right. And, but see, at that particular point in time, that's a major time of transition. Mm -hmm. They're transitioning from Moses to Joshua. Mm -hmm. And anytime there's a change, like we have right now, yeah. between one president and another, there's a change in the spiritual atmosphere. Yes. Okay, there's a, a movement mm -hmm. of good and, mm -hmm. and evil. Now, I'm not mm -hmm. saying one side's more evil than the other. I'm simply mm -hmm. saying... Mm -hmm. And there's things going on in the spirit realm we can't comprehend. Yeah. But mm -hmm. because there's this change, this last leader's gone, some people are cheering and drinking champagne in the streets, <laughs> and other people are, are mourning like there was some kind of funeral or something. Mm -hmm. But we can all be courageous. Mm -hmm. You know? I, you know, he says, be strong and courageous. Mm -hmm. Because. Because mm -hmm. you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their forefathers. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that's no small task. That's right. All right. Amen. And so the larger your task, mm -hmm. the greater the amount of fear that comes against you. Mm -hmm. Because see, man never knew fear until he fell, fell from in the garden. I mean, think about it. Adam walked around with... Lions and tigers and all that. So it, he, he never was afraid of anything. Right. No. But That's after right. the mm -hmm. fall, yeah, fear became one of the mm -hmm. great obstacles to doing what God's will for mm -hmm. for your for your life is. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I know, you know, a lot of believers are locked into something. They don't even like because they're afraid to change. All right? You may be in a work environment that you just can't stand. You dread Monday mornings. Mm -hmm. But you're more comfortable with that dread than starting something new somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So if God is trying to move you on, or open a door of opportunity for you, fear will keep you from even seeing it. 
You might, you might even see uh, an opportunity and think to yourself, boy, I'd like that. But fear keeps you locked into that place of, of defeat. Yes. Amen. Amen. So he just told very matter of factly, Moses, my servant is dead. Now, yeah. therefore, arise, go over this Jordan, you and all the people, to the land which I'm giving them, the children of Israel. Right. And he was very encouraging of the whole thing. He says, every place that the sole of your foot will tread, I have given you, as I said to Moses. Mm -hmm. And then verse 6, he, he tells them, be strong. You know, have good courage. Amen. And then he said again in verse 7, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. And then he went on to exhort him, do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you may prosper wherever you go. And, he, and then he continued with instruction. Uh, the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you'll meditate on it day and night, that you can observe to do it, all that is written, and then your way will be prosperous. Mm -hmm. Amen? And then he exhorted him again. Look at that in verse 9. Okay? So there's three separate times when God exhorted him, be courageous, have not I commanded you, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he told him three times, amen, we know prophetically that's a sure word, mm -hmm. okay? Be strong and be courageous. It was a commandment. Mm -hmm. And today that's the Lord's same commandment to you and mm -hmm. I. Be strong and be courageous. Amen? Because God is with us. We will encounter many different things, right? A mm -hmm. Amen. But God is always with us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Even mm -hmm. in 1 Chronicles 28, 20, King David even told his successor, be strong and courageous mm -hmm. and do the work. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. or discouraged. Amen? Mm -hmm. In Deuteronomy 31, 6, Moses said to the people of Israel, be strong and be courageous. You'll see peri periodically throughout uh, the Old and the New Testament. Amen? The, the, there's a theme of being strong, being courageous. Mm -hmm. Amen? Why? Because your enemy, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And he seeks whom he may devour, but that doesn't mean we he are going to be devoured. Okay? That's right. And, you know, I, I heard someone say one time, you know, he's, he, he might be a roaring lion, but, but he, he doesn't have any teeth. Okay, so he's doing a lot of, you know, commotion with roaring, but we don't have to fall to that. Amen? Right. Praise God. And that, you but know, that's what roaring lions do. They scare the wits out of you. Amen. But we don't yeah. need to be afraid of that. If the Lord be for you, who dare be against you? Amen. So what we're talking about today, we're encouraging you today to be strong because mm -hmm. we're called to ministry. We're called to do businesses. Amen. We're called to lead our families. Amen. We're called to be in politics. We're called to be in the public marketplace. Wherever it might be, wherever your calling is, the Lord is saying you today is saying to you today, mm -hmm. be strong and of good courage. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because God says, I am with you wherever you go. Amen. Right. And greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Right. But we have to be courageous that's right. for God. Amen. All mm -hmm. right. And if you look at the heroes of the of the Bible, they were created by courageous choices. Mm -hmm. Amen. They take Jesus. And Pilate, amen, he was standing in front of Pilate. Look at all the mm -hmm. courageous things that our Lord did, yeah. even going to the cross, amen. Yeah. Noah was courageous mm -hmm. for 100 years, right? Yeah. He was and, blasphemed you know, and humiliated. And they had a choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Noah could have stayed on the yes. beach and drowned with everybody else. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And instead he stood up to them as one man, mm -hmm. right? He stood up to them as one preacher, mm -hmm. the righteous preacher. The only one that found grace in the sight of the Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. That what a significant statement that the Bible says about Noah. Right? Mm -hmm. He had to be courageous uh, and take the initiative. Okay? He got the word of the Lord and he took the initiative to start building that ark. Wow, what courage. What risk that, that he took. Spending a hundred years of his life to build that boat. Right? Amen. What about Jonah and the and the whale? Okay, we always sometimes see Jonah in a negative light, but he was courageous to go to Nineveh. Okay, that did take courage. Nineveh was the sworn enemy of the Israelites. And here God sent <laughs> God sent a Jewish man, sent an Israelite into the enemy's camp to tell them to get right with God. 
That mm -hmm. took a lot of courage. Yes, it did. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Moses and the Red Sea. When they came up upon the Red Sea, it took a lot of initiative and courage. Mm -hmm. Moses, he had to tell the people to be quiet. I'm getting the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is what God said to do. Mm -hmm. And God told him, raise a staff. He had to be courageous to raise that staff. And mm -hmm. boom, the Red Sea parted. Mm -hmm. Now notice in every one of these things, though, that these heroes of the faith had to take action. Mm -hmm. Okay? God gave them the direction, and he gives you and I direction. But we have to take the initiative to do it. Amen? Mm -hmm. We have to take action based on the word of the Lord. And yes, it takes some courage. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Queen Esther, what what about her? Mm -hmm. Amen. What courage for a woman especially. Amen. Wow. What a demonstration. And you know, just think about it. If she had if she went to the king and he didn't even call her, and, and it was said in that day that and she even said this, that if the king does not bid her to come forward to talk to him, she could be killed. Mm -hmm. Amen. That took courage. They Amen. had some weird rules, didn't they? Wow, I'm telling you. But each in each case, though, I also want to point out that each of these leaders, uh, leaders became even greater after they encountered this, dif this difficult obstacle. Right. Amen. And how many times have, have we seen that in, in our own life? Mm -hmm. Amen. When we take the initiative, mm -hmm. when God tells us, and, and, we, and we launch out with courage, right? Mm -hmm. Because we know if God be for you, who do you dare be against you? Amen. Amen. Once you launch out, Mm -hmm. God will meet you. Amen. Right. And he'll he'll put you over. He will all, anytime he calls us to do something, mm -hmm. he will equip us. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right, praise God. So, why do we need courage? Amen. Mm -hmm. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 4 through 8. Okay? This is the the apostle Paul talking to the to the Corinthians. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's just go ahead and turn there. 2 mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 6. Let me see if I can find it with these handy dandy beautiful little tabs here. Second Corinthians chapter six. Did you beat me, honey? Yes. Okay. All right. Chapter six, verses four through eight. Whoops. Okay. It says, But in all things we commend ourselves as ministers of God in much patience in tribulations, in needs, in distresses, in stripes, in, in imprisonments, in tumults, in labor, in mm. sleeplessness, even in sleeplessness. You know, mm. they had, they always, you know, every now and then, they didn't get a good night's sleep. Amen. Every now and then, they, it's kind of hard to sleep in the bottom of a Roman prison. Amen. In fastings, by purity, by knowledge, by long-suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Spirit, by sincere love, by the word of truth, by the power of God, by the armor of righteousness on the right and on the left, by honor and dishonor, by evil report and good report, as deceivers and yet true, as unknown and yet well known, as dying, and behold we live, as chastened and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing, and yet possessing all things. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do you think that the Apostle Paul always had a, a, a good day? I don't you think know? he had a good day. <laughs> His good day Amen. was going home, probably. And he says, but in all things, verse 4, as ministers of God. So he's speaking to you and I as ministers of God. Amen. There's going to be many things, and we know this, that we're going to go through. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. Amen. Mm -hmm. One way or the other, you will be delivered. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That is the, that's, that's the word mm -hmm. of the Lord. It's going to happen one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But we have to be courageous going through this. Amen. Christianity is not for wimps, contrary right. to what the public might think. Right. Okay. Jesus is not a wimp. No, he's not. Amen. He is not a wimp. Right. He is a warrior. Amen. Yes, he and is. when he comes back again, all creation is going to see that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. And you and yeah, I. One thing the unbelievers have right is when Jesus comes back, it's going to be no more Mr. Nice Guy. Wow. <laughs> That's true, too. And uh -huh. we, we see that Jesus and his dis disciples were subjected to legal persecution, beatings, ridicule, and of course, death. David, uh, the, the shepherd boy, was confronted by giant. Amen. All right. And uh, he even pro proclaimed to, 
King Saul, let no one lose heart on account of this Philistine. Your servant will go and fight him. That's in 1 Samuel 17, 32. Mm -hmm. Amen? And uh, praise God. <laughs> Even Paul, the apostle, once again, uh, not only when he was talking to the Corinthians, and he was enumerating all these points, all these things that happened to us as ministers, he, he, he reminded Timothy, he had told him in 2 Timothy 1, 7, he said, God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a self and of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. You see, he was talking to his spiritual son, Timothy. Mm -hmm. He was reminding Timothy, amen, you're going to encounter things, son. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're, you're going to go through trials and tribulations. Amen. But don't let it stop you. Don't let fear stop you. Amen. Praise God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you something that the Lord told me some months ago. Amen. He told me daily to bind fear. Mm -hmm. Fear comes up in all of our lives in some mm -hmm. kind of way at some point. We, and this COVID has released a, mm -hmm. another level of fear that's... Yes. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. just, you know, you can't go to the store without being afraid you're going to catch something. And then when we hear of our leaders dying too, yeah. amen, you know, it's, yeah. it's a human thing to be thinking about it, yeah. you know. But, you know, you just have to trust God. You know, the uh, Lord never mm -hmm. guaranteed us tomorrow. Amen. No, that's right. But as long as we're saved, we, we know that we're heaven bound. Mm -hmm. Amen. You so know where you're going. Amen. So you just keep on serving him every day. Mm -hmm. Amen. It takes courage to serve the Lord mm -hmm. every day. And we commend you all for doing that, for standing mm -hmm. for the Lord. Don't give up. Amen. Amen. Don't be weary in, in well doing. Amen. Keep on. You know, and, and mm -hmm. that's what that's what God was 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 reminding Joshua. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I am with you wherever mm -hmm. you go. Be courageous. And just okay? let me say, I, I know by revelation that for all of us coming out of this COVID, and someday it is going to end or be under control at the very least, coming out of this, there's going to be a whole plethora of new opportunities. Okay, I, you know, they say, you know, that the world will never be the same. Well, we're not attached to the world, first of all. And second of all, God can point you in a direction. You can do things and have opportunity to do things. But you're going to need the courage mm -hmm. to let go and trust God. Trusting God always takes courage. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. You know, yes. you, you, the thing he did. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons, I think, is when you look at how what he says you can do, mm -hmm. you know, or what he wants you to do, mm -hmm. you look at it and you think to yourself, there is no way in this world that I can do that. Mm -hmm. And you're right, you can't. Mm -hmm. But what did he tell Joshua? What did he tell Moses? Fear not, I'll go with you. I'll be with you. I'm going there. When God says you will do this and you will do that in prophecy, he means you and him together are going to do this. Amen. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. Mm -hmm. You know? And so we know that we don't want to let go of God, but we do need to let go of what we're afraid of. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I had an opportunity to do this. In my younger years... When I was, I was in ministry, but I wasn't part of leadership per se. When churches tried to get their own facility, a lot of things happened. Uh, one pastor that I loved very much, he lost his whole church. Another one, it, it caused a church split. And it, so I'll be, per, Linda knows this, I'll be perfectly honest with you about it my prayer to God was if you want us to have our own facility and that's your will I'll do it but bless God I'd rather just meet an FPC from now until Jesus comes and that's just the truth of it you know what I mean mm -hmm. but here we are now so this opportunity for this building Linda and I prayed and prayed and we thought you know we just feel this is God's God's will. Mm -hmm. So right in the middle of a pandemic, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
we get this building. Which doesn't make any sense. We can't get a permit. <laughs> there isn't, right at the moment, there isn't anything positive to look at and say, glory to God, we're going to win. <laughs> but fortunately, we've been through enough things that we know God is going to bring us through this. He is. Amen. And, but it takes courage. Yes, it does. Because, see, we could have been scared. Mm -hmm. We could have said, well, what do you mean, you know, in a pandemic? God, you know, stop the pandemic first, and then we'll <laughs> take the bill. By then, that building deal would have been gone. Right. And, and I'll tell you, when you see this place, you're, it's just incredible. We're really looking forward to you being able to see Amen. it. Amen. We're excited. But we can't about let you in the building until they give us a permit. So. Yeah. But you know, I see <clears throat> Apostle Jeff bring, brings up a great point. You know, um, people of faith have courage, mm -hmm. right? You know, to, to have faith, we have to be courageous, mm -hmm. right? Because you got to step out in faith some, mm -hmm. sometimes. And that and next thing is going to require courage. Because when you right. first see it, mm -hmm. You're going to look at it in yourself and in your ability. Amen. And whatever it is, it'll be greater than what you can do. Amen. Amen. I want, I want to take you into Acts chapter 4. Mm -hmm. And let's take a look for a minute at Peter and John. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Those boys really got their... They had a good time, didn't they? Okay. Everybody, let's, let's, let's go to uh, chapter 4. Okay. We're going to talk about Peter and John here. We're going to give... Uh, some examples from the scripture here of our courage mm -hmm. and what the Spirit of God can do for mm -hmm. us. Amen. Praise God. So it says in verse 1, Now as they spoke to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees came upon them, mm -hmm. being greatly disturbed that they were teaching the people and preaching Jesus uh, Jesus the resurrection from the dead. So Peter and John were, were preaching, right? Okay. And they laid hands on them. And put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it took courage just to preach the word of God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. However, many of those who heard the word believed, and the number of the men came to be about 5,000. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And it came mm -hmm. to pass on the next day, so they were in prison, right? Where they, they, mm -hmm. they were in custody. Okay. And it came to pass on the next day that the rulers, elders, and scribes, as well as Annas the high priest, and a few other guys... Okay, were gathered together at Jerusalem, and when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? Okay, then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen? I want to stop there just a second. I'm getting the unction. Amen? You know, when we step out in faith, when we know that we know that we know that God said do something. Mm -hmm. Amen? Praise God. And by the way, let every word be confirmed by two or three witnesses. Right. Okay? Apostle Jeff just told you, that we prayed and we felt led about this building. But we also consulted with our oversight. We mm -hmm. consulted with our board of directors. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also consulted with our elders. Mm -hmm. And everybody got a witness. Got a witness. Okay. Amen. Let every word be confirmed by two or three. So we knew that God was telling us, hey, Jeff and Linda, if you want it, you got to do it now. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, so we had the option. Yeah. Okay, are we going to go with it or not go with it? Right. Are we going to take the initiative and be courageous and step out in faith? Right. Right? Okay, then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay? Right. So the Holy Spirit's going to show up. Amen? Yeah, he, he showed up to help out, didn't he? Yes, Amen? He did. But they had to take the initiative, and they had to show courage, amen, to be out there preaching and doing what God told them to do. Okay? Then but Peter, notice he wasn't filled with the Spirit until he was standing in front of these cats saying, hey, you right. know. So right. when the time comes, mm -hmm. you can believe the Holy Spirit to be there with you. Amen. And that's whether you're in a business mm -hmm. or or you, you're working for somebody. That's right. You know, and, and you're in line for a promotion or don't be afraid. And when right. you confront the issue, the Holy Spirit will be there. That doesn't mean there's going to be a heavenly choir or lightning bolts or anything like that. There'll just be a courage that Amen. comes up. But you've got to step yeah. out first. Mm -hmm. You can't step, stay home mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to get courage here at home and then I'll go to work. No. <laughs> no. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <clears throat> so then Peter, filled with the Spirit, started talking to them. Okay, now drop down to verse 13. All right, now when they saw the boldness, mm -hmm. so when these leaders saw the boldness <clears throat> of Peter and John, 
and perceived that they were uneducated and untrained men, they marveled. Amen? And they realized that they had been with Jesus. There's the key. See? Amen. There's the key. Amen. To What's... being courageous and to being... Say it, honey. It's Say... that they were with Jesus. They had been with Jesus. That is Amen. what makes the difference. Yes. That's why I know some people get so tired of hearing me say it. But you've got to read your Bible. You've got to pray. You have to praise. You have to seek the face of God. And I say, well, when will we go on to something different? When we get that right, then we'll move on to something different. Amen. So now, because let's... Because that's the key. You Amen. see it right there. Thank you, honey. It's good. Okay? Um, Amen. Look at verse 14. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could say nothing against it. So the truth was confirmed by the miracle. That's what miracles are for. Amen. It confirms the truth of God's word. Amen. Praise God. It doesn't make a hero out of you. It makes a hero out of God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Okay. And but when they, <coughs> verse 15, let, let's go on to 15. But when they had commanded them to go outside of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, what are we going to do with these these guys? Amen. Amen. For if we're looking here, this notable miracle has been done. Which is evident to everybody, body, daddy, and everybody, and we mm -hmm. can't deny it. Right. See that in so verse. We can't 16? lie about it because too many <laughs> people have seen it. Amen. All right. But verse seventeen says, "But so that it spreads no further, let us severely threaten them that from now on they don't speak to anybody in this name." So they called them and they commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. Now notice, what were they afraid of? Yeah, amen. The name of Jesus. They yeah. didn't even know what they were saying. Right. They just knew what they were afraid of, and right. it was that name. Right. And you better believe the devil is afraid of that name. That's when right. When you use it in faith, right. and it comes from your heart, when you say, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. this is amen. the way it'll be, that's the way it'll be. Amen. All right. All right. So they called them and commanded them not to speak. This verse 18. Verse 19, but Peter and John answered... And said, whether it's right in the sight of God to listen to you more than God, you judge. Mm. Amen. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Amen. Mm -hmm. And so when they, had, and when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding no way of punishing them. Because the people, mm -hmm. since uh, they all glorified God, mm -hmm. seeing what they, they had done. Right. Amen. For the man was over 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing mm -hmm. had been performed. Right. Amen. Now, can I just plug in something else here? Sure. Yeah, please do. Now, look. <coughs> look what Peter said. In front of a council that has the authority to have send you over to oh, man. Pilate and have you executed. Have you killed. Right. And they saw what they did to Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. You know? Mm -hmm. And he's confronting this right. council. This is the same man who was scared of a servant girl. Yeah. Next to the fire on the night that, Je that Jesus was being tried. And denied him three times. Denied him three times. But he, here he, he was filled. What was the difference? Pentecost. Amen. The baptism in the Spirit. Being Amen. filled with the Spirit. It says right in this account, they were filled with the Spirit. Amen. Amen. And they confronted the hell itself. Amen. With no fear in their hearts because the Spirit was with them. Amen. When God says, told Moses, I will go with you, Amen. he didn't go within them. He went with, you know, within their beings. He went, traveled with them. Amen. Okay? Or was available. But we have him within us. And we can turn to Amen. that. Amen. We can turn to that spirit within and push back the powers of darkness. No, devil, you can't have my grandchildren. No, you can't. Amen. Be courageous. Be invincible. Amen. When God gives you something he wants you to do, you have to make sure that's the voice of God and that's a different lesson. Mm -hmm. But once you know God has spoken, now you're going to need the courage, the initiative mm -hmm. and courage to step out. Amen. Praise God. Amen.
Actually, that, that was a good wrap, wrap up right, right there. All right, mm -hmm. I, my, my final point was, okay, how does this apply to us? Amen, mm -hmm. and that's what we've been kind of sharing mm -hmm. through all of this. Amen. Amen. Is that, you know, God has called us to do many things. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're called to do things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, God has given a mission to all of us. We're not just mm -hmm. on this planet just to, just to breathe air. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You didn't get saved just to sit on a pew. You, Amen. You, you got saved to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. Amen. And, and, the, and the word says, walk in the calling wherewith you've been called. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And and that's what that's what our mission is too. We want to help to exhort you, to raise you up, amen, to activate you in the gifts of the Spirit, to raise and train, to encourage you, to walk in your mm -hmm. calling, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And to walk in our calling, amen, we have to take the initiative. Amen. Mm -hmm. When God tells us to do something right. and we know it's Him, amen, you're going to have to step before, up and faith. God steers amen. a moving car. Amen. And so it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to require some courage. Amen. But the Lord says in Joshua chapter 1, remember, all right, I am with you. <laughs> Amen. He'll Amen. never leave us. He'll never forsake us. Amen. And he'll never call you to something that he doesn't help Amen. you do. He will equip you. Amen. Mm -hmm. that, that is the, the word of God. He will be there just like he was there for Joshua and Moses and Daniel and Paul and all of them. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Lord is with us. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So with that, I want to leave you just to, um, I'm just going to give you a little um, a, a key. Uh, I, I would really encourage you tonight to take a look again at Joshua chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially verse 9. Amen. We need to meditate in the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because it'll build our spirit. It'll mm -hmm. build our faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by, by the, the word, word of God. Of God. Amen. Amen. And when that faith mm -hmm. builds in, in us, we will have the courage mm -hmm. to step out into the things that God right. has, has told, told us to do. Amen? And that's Our why way. we're such a booger about telling you to read your Bible, to, to, to be in your Bible, stay in Amen. the Word. I mean, you know, I get tired of talk, talking about it, too. But Linda and I know, not only from what the Word says, but our own personal experience that that's how faith comes. Amen. And and that and that's what's going to put you over. You Amen. know, it's hard to be courageous if you don't have faith. Amen. Praise Amen. God. So with that, honey, can you uh, say a closing prayer and then sure. we're, we're going to transition? Okay. Thank you. Honey. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time tonight. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you said be strong and be courageous. Amen. Because the Lord thy God is with thee. Lord, we thank you not only is he with us, he's in us. And, Lord, we can be like Peter and John. We can look the, the enemy right in the face and just say, should we obey God or men? You decide. We thank you for the courage that comes from the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks, honey. Amen. Right. So we just want to encourage you tonight. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whatever God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. It might be ministry. It might, it might, might be business. You know, whatever God has called you, you to do, be courageous for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you know it's God, when you know that you know, amen, mm -hmm. step out in faith and, and just be, be courageous. Amen. Mm -hmm. amen. Praise God. Amen. You want to pray for Ethel here, honey? Ethel That's Edmonds. Sciatic nerve. Father, we pray for Ethel's sciatic nerve pain, yes, Father, sir. that goes down in her back and down both legs. We yes. come against that... Uh, Ruptured disc in Jesus' yes. name and that pinched nerve. Yes. We command that to open and be right healed now. in Jesus', Jesus name. name. And Lord, we thank you, Father, that she's going to be walking yes, with pain free. Yes, God. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Yes, God. Amen. Amen. And even uh, um, Ethel, what I'm also getting, there's been a stress. Uh, mm -hmm. throughout your body that's adding to this mm -hmm. um, so I don't know what's going on in your, your life right now uh, maybe just the pandemic I don't know mm -hmm. but there's a stress that's exacerbating it. it's making the situation worse amen uh, mm -hmm. so I just command a calming on your body right now at the root of stress is fear so we bind a spirit of fear uh, right now and anytime we're worried or anxious about something the root of that is a spirit of fear so, right. so always take authority over a spirit of fear. Amen. So, Lord, I just bind a spirit of fear right now in Jesus' name Amen. that's manifesting through stress uh, through the physical body. And I command peace on the body right now. John 14, 27 says, My peace 
I give to you, not as the world knows. Amen. Gives, give I unto you. Amen. So we command a peace right now through your whole body in the name of Jesus. And we command that healing to manifest in Jesus' name. For the word says, I am the Lord that heals thee. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Praise God. All right. Praise God. If there's any other prayer requests, just please chat them in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Praise God. All right. Okay. So this first word is for, can I, let's see if I can read that. Born to soar. Amen. Thanks, honey. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. So this first word is for born to soar. Okay. I apologize if I said it wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Father, we just thank bye you. Bye-bye. And there goes Mitzi. Okay. Bless you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, Father, we just thank you, Father, for this man of God, for the word says, Son, uh, I'm raising you up into new heights within my anointing, says the Lord, and I am revealing myself to you in a brand new way, says God. And the Lord says that I'm even causing you this day to even open my, my word and even look again at several passages, says the Lord. For the Lord says, I am speaking to you even in the night hours, says the Lord. And the Lord says that I am going to reveal my love to you in a way that you have not known before. And again, I'm opening my word to you in a brand new way, says the Lord. And so the Lord says, I don't want you to look to the past and, and, and to uh, focus on to the regrets of your life. But God says to look to the future things that I have for you. For your future is bright. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Amen. Plans for a hope and a future. And the Lord says, surely you do have a hope and a future in me, says the Lord. And so the Lord says in this season, get into that word again, it says God. And the Lord says, even do the Joshua chapter 1 verse 9, meditate in the word of God. And the Lord says that as you're doing that, there's going to be a whole new revelation that's going to come to you about the path forward for this season, says the Lord. And, uh, sir, I, I hear the Lord say that he's going to open up business for you also in Jesus' name. And, Father, I just release that to him right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I just release this entrepreneurial uh, uh, um, anointing upon my brother right now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for it right now in Jesus' name. And I seal the word and charge it to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. All right, this next word. Uh, is for Jennifer Brim. Uh, Jennifer, I'm just hearing the Lord say the Lord is very pleased with you. You've been really see seeking the Lord, and uh, and the Lord says that He's very pleased that you stayed with the school of the Holy Spirit. That's what we call all of these, Amen. And you've been a great student, and the Lord says that you've been really pressing in. And God says, daughter, continue to press in, says the Lord. And I, I just hear the Lord say that there's a healing anointing that is coming upon your your life, and uh, just like we pray for people with healing. The Lord says, start launching out with that. Amen. When you know of people around you that need a healing, the Lord says, speak healing into their life. You don't have to touch them. Amen. Or anything like that. Just release the word of healing to them. Amen. The Bible says he sent his word and healed them. All we got to do is send the word just like we are doing now. Send the word, Jennifer. Amen. And the Lord says, daughter, I'm stirring you up in the prophetic also. And I'm increasing that anointing within your, your life. And the Lord says you're going to see a greater manifestation in the days that are ahead. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just release that anointing. We stir it up right now. We stir up the gifts of healing in you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All right. And this next word is for Sherry Hubbard. Sher Cherie. Sher Cherie Hubbard. Amen. Father, we just thank you right now for my sister. And the Lord says, I'm doing a new work within your life and even within your extended family, says the Lord. And the Lord says that I'm very much pleased with you, says God, that you've been interceding for your whole family. And Sharia, I, I sense like there's a couple of youngsters, uh, younger people in your extended family that the Lord wants you to really con uh, con uh, continue to intercede for. Amen. And God says, uh, daughter, I know your heart also. And the Lord says that I'm rebuking the devourer for your sake. And God says, I'm sending you on a higher plane. In the days that are ahead, says the Lord. And Sharia, I just see that in the next months, uh, even this next year is going to be a better year. Uh, for you, it's going to be a happier year, a more joyful year. Um, you're going to feel uh, and sense more at home uh, with the events that are happening around you. And I just and there's something about your, your work environment is going to improve this next year. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just release that to Sharia right now. In Jesus' name, and I thank you. For the shift and the change 
that's coming about in a real positive way in Jesus' name. And we release that to you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And this is for Ethel. Amen. Ethel, Father, we just continue right now uh, the, the healing anointing upon her in the name of Jesus for that sciatic nerve. And the Lord says, daughter, just continue to press in. Take my word and use my word like a battering ram, says the Lord. Every day, amen, the Lord says, pound at that thing in the spiritual with the word of God. For the Lord says, daughter, I'm sharpening your sword in this season, says the Lord. And surely you will see the manifestation of my anointing in your life, says God. And you will be happy, says the Lord. Amen. So, Father, we release that to Ethel. Amen. So, Ethel, what I was getting from that, just to be clear, uh, and to explain what I have in my spirit, take the healing scriptures. Amen. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Uh, 1 Peter 2.24, by his stripes we are healed. Get your healing scriptures together. And every morning, proclaim and confess those healing scriptures over your sciatic nerve, over your body. That's what I do with my body daily. Amen. I do, and I do daily communion too. Amen. And I anoint myself with oil every day. And I, and I get up, when I get up in the, in the morning, amen, I grab my coffee. Amen. I grab my healing scriptures. Amen. I take my vitamins. I do all that stuff. And I am declaring scripture over my body every day. Amen. Because the word of God is true. Amen. And his word, he watches over his word to perform it. Praise God. So you're still going to take your medicine. You're still going to do that stuff, but you're proclaiming the word of God over your body. Amen. Praise God. I was even reading a pamphlet by Gloria Copeland the, the other day where her uh, advice was read it over yourself morning, noon, and night. And praise God, if you can do that, do that. Amen. Take a moment out. Confess the word of God over your body morning, noon, and night. Amen. And that's, that's what her recommendation is. And we all know Gloria Copeland moves in a, in a great healing, you know, uh, anointing also. Amen. Praise God. I can tell you that my body is getting better. Praise God. I, I am progressing in healing. Amen. Praise God. And uh, so I, uh, the word works. Amen. Just keep confessing it over your body. Amen. Praise God. And he says again, I am the Lord that healeth thee. So, Father, we release that to Ethel right now. We command the manifestation of this healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. All right. Praise God. Uh, prayer request for Kavina's mom. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. For her mom and her mom's husband in, in Uganda. Father, we just release a word of healing right now to her mother and mom's husband. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says he sent the word and heal him. So, Father, I just command a healing anointing upon her parents right now. In the name of Jesus, I release that right now in Jesus' name. I come against every arthritic uh, pain in their bodies in the name of Jesus, every anomaly in their bloodstream right now. I command you to be whole and to be normal in the name of Jesus. For by his stripes we were healed in Jesus' name. And Lord, I just thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. By his stripes we are healed. I command healing on both of her parents right now. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for your word. For your word does say, amen. He sent the word and healed them. And Father, I thank you, Lord, for that. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, praise God. Um, and Miss Virginia is asking for prayer. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just release even uh, a school success upon her right now, Lord, as she's going through schooling. Father, help her. In the name of Jesus, we stir up a wisdom and understanding and a knowledge that she will do well in school in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you for Miss Virginia right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And uh, Lima too. Father, Lord, you said, Father, in, in your word, Father, that you're the provider of all of our need. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just, uh, uh, Lord, we ask you for, uh, on behalf of Alima too right now, Lord, just provide her with a job. And anybody else who needs a job, just raise your hand right now. If you're completely unemployed, Raise your hand right now. Father, we release an anointing right now in the name of Jesus for jobs to come forth from the north, south, east, and west. Father, you are the provider of all of our need. And Father, we release that right now in Jesus' name, that anointing, that all of your people who need jobs are going to have jobs. 
miraculously. And even for Alima too, Father, she's going to get a job. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, show her, Father, where to go to get that job. Father, in the name of Jesus. And all of you that are looking for jobs right now, what I'm getting, the wisdom is to send your resume out. Amen. Uh, do not be intimidated, but put a resume together. Amen. If you're looking for a certain types of professional jobs or whatever, send your resume out. Amen. And let anoint it and let God work with it. Amen. Praise God. But Lord, bring revelation for those who don't send the resume out. Either way, Lord, bring the revelation of these jobs in the name of Jesus. And Father, we just thank you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For all those of you who are in school right now, uh, taking college courses or uh, in any type of curriculum, amen, raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you right now. Amen. And I'm hearing the Lord say, anybody who wants to go to school, amen, you'd like to go to school, but you don't have the money or whatever, and you need something from the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just release an anointing right now upon your people, Father. Lord, uh, yes, God, for for the money, for the opportunity to go, whatever, whether it's through virtual or technology or whatever, Lord, online. But, Lord, create a way where there is no other way. In the name of Jesus, we just release provision for schooling right now. In Jesus' name. And, Lord, we thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lakatan, all right, is asking for prayer. Father, Lakatan, Miss Lakatan, we lift you up right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I just ask you, Father, just comfort her. Give her peace. I release peace upon you uh, right now, even encouragement in this hour, even for your family. And, uh, and uh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This is for, oh, Lakatan. Amen. I apologize if I didn't say it right. Father, for my sister. Uh, and the Lord would say, daughter, I'm watching over my word to perform it. For the Lord says that you have been one to seek me with a whole heart. And the Lord says, I see all the prayer requests that you have before me, says God. And I have not forgotten you, says the Lord. Be patient, says God. Stand firm. And having done all to stand, says the Lord. Use my word. Use my word and speak to the mountain, says God. And I will remove the mountain for you, says the Lord. Amen. So, Father, we seal that word upon my sister right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Okay, Armani, let me know if there's anything else. Amen. All right, Father, we just seal the word right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, amen. So we want to thank you for tuning in tonight. Amen. It was a little bit shorter night tonight. All right, but uh, praise God. Uh, my, my prayer is that, that you take a look at Joshua 1.9 and meditate upon that. Amen. And ask the Lord just to build your faith. Amen. To build your courage. Amen. Because you know when he... He wants us to, you know, when he tasks us to do things, amen, praise God, we got to have the courage to step out in faith. And when we do that, God is going to be there. Amen. So I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. Amen. Uh, on behalf of Apostle Jeff and I, we just appreciate it so much. And um, be before we get off the air, I want to in invite you again uh, to go to our website, www.covenant-life-church.org. Praise God. And uh, please so so in a do donation. Amen. We uh, need it. We appreciate it. Uh, we're still paying for the electric bill and the lease bill and all, all of these things. Amen. And so we need your donation. and We appreciate it very much. You can go on the front page of our website and there's a donate button. Uh, please just hit that button. You can sew in by ACH or PayPal or any of those things. You can even send a check to our PO box. Amen. We appreciate whatever you send in. Amen. We appreciate it very, very much. We love you all very much. We pray for you. If you have prayer requests, you can send that in. Amen. I want to remind you tomorrow night is Prayer Tabernacle. Amen. It starts at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's run by Pastor Andrea and Elder. And you can dial in. Anybody can dial in. Praise God. And if you have prayer needs, you can dial in. And they will pray for you tomorrow night also. Amen. And then remember, this Friday is the start of our women's conference. You won't want to miss that. Friday, Saturday is going to be dynamic. And then uh, Sunday, uh, we'll have our, our, our normal service. Amen. We will have a uh, prophetic class from 1 to 2. And then we'll have our, our uh, usual Facebook Sunday service right here, 2.30 in the afternoon. Amen. Uh, all right. Praise God. So please tune in. 
Amen. Father, is there anything else tonight? Oh, yes. I hear the Lord say, we always want to give you the opportunity to get saved. If anybody would say tonight, Apostle Linda, I'm not sure that I'm saved. I'm not sure if I die tonight where I'm going. We want to make sure that you know Jesus. Amen. So just follow me in this easy prayer. You just say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. I want to live for you from this moment on. And if anybody's out there tonight who wants another infilling of the Holy Spirit, or you've never been filled, just raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just release an anointing for the baptism of the Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' name. And for those who want another filling, Lord, uh, Lord, uh, we release an anointing for another filling. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you'd like to rededicate your life tonight, you'd say, Apostle Linda, I've been away from the Lord and I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, and I just want to come back to the Lord. Just say the same kind of prayer. Just say, Lord Jesus, I rededicate my life to you. Come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, praise God. Amen. We invite you, we encourage you to read the Bible. Amen. Praise God. Keep the Bible in front of you. Speak God's word. Amen. And if you speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Spend time with God. Praise and, 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 and worship him. He is worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. Thanks again for tuning in tonight. On behalf of Apostle Jeff and I and our pastors, elders, and all of our staff, we, we want to thank you. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just release, uh, Lord, your, your uh, just an encouragement. We release your anointing upon our listening audience tonight. Father, just bless and keep them. Father, we claim Psalm 91. No plague will come nigh our dwelling. We claim Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And Father, again, we release that healing anointing upon the people for manifestation of healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Bless you. Good night.